Hey and welcome to another pomegranate game from the 2015 first game tournament. He's playing against God, which is uh, probably of an old guard. I kind of think I played it him, but I'm not really sure who he is. Uh, but to, yeah, his open looks strong. As a part of German air opens with barracks, uh, also quick opens are really strong. Uh, the pomegranate responds by making airfield himself, but doesn't cloud. really want to get. Cancels even a supply depot and makes uh, work of uh, double racks on either side. Completely normal, one versus one depot so far. Uh, any particular cards we're seeing using? Um, blitz and decryption, okay. And just blitz, so God has one card saved up. Doesn't really feel the need. So armored recon and. Yeah, double armored recons. I would say with any game, these armored recons are really good units and will last till for a long while. Light infantry uh, just harassing sides, trying to stop any advances. I want recon going out here. Uh, Airfield is probably researching yaks in order to deal with those pesky MI-109s. Recon going to the other side as well. I'm not sure what he's trying to limit at the moment. Probably just trying to stop these armored recons from taking any extra ground. Both players are still in one on one depot, so remember all of these units are very expensive and will contribute a lot more to this game. If you get uh, taken out the $20 unit, it worth a lot more when it's only one depot. And the enemy can't really replenish it uh, all that fast. Especially. Fighters coming in, probably with Spy, trying to snipe the Yak. Let's see if the guy actually has. Sir, did spy and did miss it. Interesting. Pomme just gets it up. On last, both players use Fana. Yax gets routed though. Both both plans uh, that didn't many make any casualties. Thirty one damage versus thirty one damage, so they're even now with a break. Recon fighting recon, typical side. Let's see, armor 1, damage to armor 1, 15, armor 1, damage to armor 11. So, as you can see, these uh, Bay Eyes are a little bit better, although slower, they could certainly take a punch, especially when hiding in the woods where you take 25% uh, less damage, if I'm correct. Infantry, you just chilling there. We'll try to go ahead for another snipe, uh, since he still has his spy on. and. But the axe should be able to stop at least one fighter. Or is it just a bug? I have Sir, no idea. Enemy units are refusing to surrender in this sector. Yeah, maybe just a bug. Two recons trying to push one recon. Sir, we'll try to go for the plane. Probably will force barracks to drop down here. Orders changed, sir. No longer hold it to last man. Recruitment has started, sir. Receiving more. Our units are under fire. Sir, reporting one of our units is down. And Gada gets the recon in behind. As well as the light infantry. Heading there. Yeah, for this force the barracks here. And we'll force to make more strokey there with his. If you compare the damage, the stroke has the low damage in game, and it's how much is it? Not this twenty. So twenty versus uh, forty for the same price. Can't really get his planes back uh, to land. We'll need them to just circle. <laughs> the recons are just staying there in the bush, and completely ignoring everything. The scars, even though. Let's see if either of a player. At the depot. Demi one will come here to try to recon still kinda camping. Oh. And really nice micro. Uh, really nice. Uh what was amazingly particular about this game is he tanked the whole way to get his recons up and running and actually wasted an ammo of a fighter, not just retreated them. Since he figured... Yeah, 
the spy was on and gotta get one plane really hard so far without on here three recons will be pushing two recons away this infantryman rather cheesy and just standing there pretty hard let's see if the god has expanded behind it well not yet just making fighters all these units are still really worthwhile uh, pomegranate gets this last uh, gets his last enemy recon and God is now limited to the planes only uh, but he has so much airspace to work with let's see stroke it don't really want to get hit okay grenadier trying to we'll go for a strafe takes yet another plane down and another stroke completely dominating the air so far this one light infantryman I was using his recon Well, that was a weird mechanic. Plane did get sniped, so God is completely superior in here. Very nice German fighter attacks, just pounding away at pomegranates uh, airfield. These barracks aren't really much useful for any Harris Destrelki. Isn't that uh, good? Probably will try it and go ahead and force something, since God has still didn't expand behind us, he will just use the fighters and probably will add some stukes after that, no? no, just more fighters fighters is all he needs he will try to secure uh, the airspace as much as he can and that makes total sense so on the radio silence gets another recon out to be actually is able to spot something gets an upgrade in the base uh, no, just gets a another grenadier. A pretty passive game so far. I'm not really sure if Pom Grenade is able to turn this somewhat around. Uh, he has to limit the recons. Uh, dodge Tukas. And be able to maintain his own fighter count. So, and probably all that without using anti-air and and on one depot which is ridiculous it makes total sense for God to just be like yep I'm just going to be air superior and when you're air superior with one yeah even takes out a couple of trucks since those planes have nothing to do so far sends a couple of uh, infantrymen out uh, just to be safe his infantry will be still better than Stroki. Just to avoid any sneak attacks. Yeah, and I really like the strategy because he used these as recons instead of 20, uh, 20 dollar uh, armored recon or 10 dollar Kubel which can't really shoot. He's able to stop them with just an infantry if the sneaky infantry guy tries to go around or you know do some cheesy stuff. And they're just be holding position there. The Pome gets some decoys and yaks as well. He's trying to force something. His fighter count is really needed. The yaks retreat. Three yaks already built. Pretty good job so far. Uh, keeping him, keeping away the Stukas. We'll try to ambush this armored recon. Gets a <laughs> heavy bomber fake plane. And as we can see, it's managed to just get away. Yeah, but Pommes somehow uh, actually forces something to happen here with the axe, just trying to counter this enemy air force. Oh, but uh, gotta get Shish sh took a hit <laughs> quite well. Recon still pouncing on most of the things. He's trying to spot something. Yeah, counters getting bigger. 
Let's see, I think the barracks popped. Oh, he's pumped one another extra recon in base. Just trying to get that pesky recon out of the side. Do I see an expansion? No, no, ex no expansions yet. Nobody is willing to try it at, uh, at the supply depot. Huge air fight here. We'll decide the pomegranate gets one plane off. And he's using fakes to his best favor to try to distract the god from doing something. And kind of manages to turn around. If you can see, there's the three planes almost dead, so most of them got away. I think all of them. And the fakes did die a lot. I don't see a single fake from the pomegranate, so really nice work on fakes there. He's managed to kind of really lower the... Oh, look at it. Three fighters. Versus bombers, like those, and there's two here and four here, so six fighters there. Versus four, amazing job on uh, really getting the pack into your game. Also using the uh, not not more expensive, but but you need do need an upgrade from them. And let's compare the speed. So the speed is 630. Yeah, so they're about the same. Let's see how this battle turns out. And the god surrenders. Just, uh, just realizing that uh, while he was facing, while he had six planes and enemy had none, the pomegranate somehow magically uh, really did get uh, the score. And having an impact of one depot and that one last air fight just decided everything. Well, thank you for watching and see you in the next game.